A lot of new things are happening at Maris. We're here at the new office, and we're finally able to show you our biggest release, LVX. LVX is an ultimate goal of ours, and it has been for many years. We call the LVX a modular delay system because it's a highly configurable delay with an easy to use graphic interface. We gave the LVX a next generation ARM processor to make it the most powerful delay on the market. We put our hearts and souls into making it an easy to use and elevated delay experience, and we can't wait for you to try it. Next, let's take a look at building sounds with the UI. The top level controls are time, feedback, mix, and mod. Moving the top level controls will bring up the tactile view to give you a detailed view of how the controls are set. There are also three push and turn encoders on the front panel, which give you instant access to your favorite parameters, navigation through the presets, and deep dive editing. I'll be referring to these push and turn controllers as C1, C2, and C3 for short. Let's bring in Hedra to give you a representation of LVX's compact size. LVX is roughly one and a half times the width of Hedra and the same height and depth. It is our intention to have all of our paddles complement each other and work seamlessly together. The first view you'll see is the preset view. This displays your preset name and number and your two favorite parameters. In this view, C1 and C2 edit the parameter labeled directly above them in the screen, which in this case are the two favorite parameters. Favorite parameters are assignable per preset and can be any parameter in the LVX. Holding C3 will allow you to save your preset. After the factory presets, we have default presets, which have all the processing elements turned off. Let's scroll C3 to the right past the factory presets so that we can make changes to a default preset. Pressing C3 takes you to the edit view, starting with the delay page. The middle bubble in this view shows the category you are editing. Turning C1 will rotate the orbiting bubbles that contain the parameters of the category. The currently selected parameter will be in the colored bubble in the top left. C2 will let you directly edit the selected parameter. On the delay page, we have full control of the true stereo delay lines to independently process your left and right signals. Here we can make changes to structure, type, note divisions, level, panning, cross feedback, and more. Let's change the structure to reverse and the type to magnetic. Processing elements are grouped into categories. The categories are dynamics, preamp, filter, pitch, and modulation. It is important to point out that the modulation category is separate from the front panel mod knob, which directly controls the modulations built into each delay. The processing elements in each category can be placed before the delay lines, after the delay lines, in the feedback of the delay lines, as well as in the dry path. Let's start by adding stereo filters to my preset. I'll scroll to the filter category, pick my filter, and place it in the pre plus dry path. Let's take a listen. LVX has modifiers which allow automatic control of your knobs. Let's use C3 to move over to the modifier section. There are LFOs, an envelope generator, a sample and hold, and a sequencer. For the modifiers, you can set the speed, note division, assignment, and the min and max knob scale values. Here, I'll assign the sample and hold to modify the filter frequency. The categories of processing elements in LVX feature highlights from your favorite Maris pedals, as well as all new original elements. We have filters from the Enzo, bit crushing and more from the Autobit Junior, pitch shifting from the Hedra, and the flanger and phaser from the Polymoon, just to name a few. Let's add the Hedra's pitch shifters in front of the Polymoon's delay structure for some cross-pollination of your favorites.
LVX has several brand new processing elements to add to the sound sculpting toolbox. We have granular delay blocks, lo-fi cassette warbles, brand new compressors and limiters, a collection of preamps, and a polyphonic pitch shifter by our pitch shifting guru, John Reeves. Let's listen to samples of the granular delay and the cassette. So far, we have been editing LVX using the orbiting bubbles of the graphic view, but for those who prefer more traditional text-based editing, we have a selectable text view. Using C3 to page over to the globals, we can change from graphic view to text view. Let's take a quick spin through the edit pages in text view. Another feature of text view is that all six outer controllers, including the knobs, can be used to simultaneously edit all the parameters currently displayed on the screen. The expression pedal on LVX works the same way as the modifiers. Let's use C3 to navigate to the expression pedal section to get ready to make our first assignment. You get six in total. Here, I'll assign the expression pedal to control our new polyphonic pitch shifter. From there, I'll set the min and max scalings for the knob value. Adding to the LVX's processing magic is an always available 60 second looper. The looper has customizable foot switches, and the loop itself can be moved before the delays, after the delays, in the dry path, and even in the feedback of the delay lines. You also get a unique warp control that scrubs through the current loop with the expression pedal. To access the looper, hold tap to enable the controls. The looper icon appears in the bottom center of the screen to show that the looper is engaged and that the foot switches are set to control the looper. LVX has a full feature tuner always available from the foot switches. To access the tuner, press and hold the two right switches. Here, you can use C1 to choose your tuner frequency, and C2 to choose the tuner output mode, either mute or bypass. LVX allows banking right from the foot switches. Pressing the center foot switches gives you access to bank up, and pressing the two left switches gives you access to bank down. Holding the two left switches gives you access to the favorites bank. To mark a preset as a favorite, hold C3 to enter the save as view. Use C3 to navigate your cursor to the heart and use C2 to assign your favorite. Holding the left switches will show you the changes you've made to your favorites bank. That's an overview of all the views and functions of LVX. For a deep dive on the functions we covered, check out our online manual on the LVX product page. We can't wait for you to bring home LVX and discover all of its power and beauty.